All right, now let's cover the kidneys. We're gonna be talking all about the renals. So always make the concept very simple here. Always think about simple terms. I want you to simply think the kidneys are just the filters of the body. Now I call the kidneys the washer machines of the body because inside the little glomeruli, the nephron, which is the functional unit of the kidney, that little glomeruli kind of looks like a washing machine. This is where all the action happens to wash the blood and filter it from waste. So as you know, the GFR, the glomerular filtration rate, is supposed to be over 90 mLs per minute. Now that's normal. It basically means that the kidneys are doing its job in filtering out toxins and other things from the blood. So you're probably asking yourself, what are the other things that the kidneys wash out? Well, simply remember HUC, hook, because the kidneys kind of look like a pirate hook, right? So H is for hydrogen ions. The kidneys wash out excess hydrogen ions. So clients with broken kidneys, like in let's say renal failure, these clients go into acidosis, specifically metabolic acidosis. And this is from all the hydrogen ions being increased in the blood. Now U is for urea, B-U-N, that blood urea nitrogen. And C is from creatinine. Remember, creatinine over 1.3 is bad kidney. Now the NCLEX expects you to know this. They're not gonna be asking about basic anatomy and physiology here. Rather, it's going to be asking you how to keep your clients safe. So let's start with renal failure. So let the name help you here. Renal failure means kidney failure. And we either have acute, short-term conditions, or chronic, those long-term conditions. So with acute renal failure, this is just short-term loss of kidney function. If not stopped and reversed, it can lead to that chronic long-term damage in chronic renal failure. Now for chronic renal failure, this is from years and years of destruction resulting in permanent damage. Permanent damage to those little washing machines. So for example, let's just say your client just went to CT scan and got a bunch of thick contrast dye that really injured the kidneys, right? Well, they would be in acute renal failure there. Now think about a client with long-term uncontrolled diabetes, with years and years of uncontrolled thick sugary blood inside the kidneys. Just like my little cousin who got diagnosed with type 2 diabetes at age 10. Let's just say my little cousin never fixed this high blood sugar and it ended up destroying his entire kidneys later on in life. Well, these clients would have chronic renal failure, right? So let's review some diagnostic tests to see the extent of this renal failure. Nursing school is hard work. SimpleNursing.com makes it simple. We take your classroom lectures and notes to create a handcrafted study plan with specialized videos and visual study guides that highlight only the top tested need to know key points, coupled with thousands of practice questions to test your knowledge, all neatly organized in our new app. Try it for free today. Visit simplenursing.com. So we use a creatinine clearance test. Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, Click right up here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. All right, guys. See you next time.